Welcome to another recap of Survivor Philippines. All right, let's start off with Calabao, Jeff, and Penner. They started off as an alliance, and now, not so much. Uh, who's going to get who out first? I'm thinking it's probably going to be Penner leaving first, because he doesn't. he's not trying to get Jeff out. <laughs> All right, over at Tendang, Mike, a.k.a. Scoopin, is trying to spin it as... This is my fire anniversary. Um, after today, I don't have an advantage over you guys anymore, so there's no reason for you to vote me out as a returning player because the playing field has been leveled. Nice argument, but I'm not buying it, Scoopin'. All right, <laughs> the boat arrives. Everyone's like so excited. It's merge time. So you've got 10 minutes to pack up your crap. Get out, because you're going somewhere else. Uh, because it's closing time. <laughs> you can't stay here, but you don't have to go home. So, Malcolm had buried his idol, so he had like 10 minutes to dig it up. And he did. He managed to get it in time. Um, same thing happening in Calabao. They gotta pack up their crap and get out. So when they arrive at the new beach, of course the feast is waiting. It's a tradition. They do it every season. And we find out that Scoopin has seven kids. Holy crap, at least he knows how to do something right, huh? All right. So Lisa, being the little den mom that she is, starts hanging up everybody's clothes so that they, uh, you know, because she's just trying to be nice. She just wants everybody to have dry clothes. And happens upon Malcolm's idol. Shh. She keeps it quiet. He pulls her aside. He's like, you're like my mom, blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, I guess I'm not the only actor on the island. <laughs> he called her the church lady. That's so rude. Anyway, um, Penner and Lisa have a nice little moment in the sun. You know, they're all swimming together. And he's like, these kids don't know who you are, do they? And she's like, no. And he's like, don't worry, I'm not going to blow your cover. So that was kind of cool. Um, and he thinks that she can go pretty far in the game, and I'm going to have to agree, because she's pretty much floating under the radar right now. So, Scoopin and RC, they have their little tight alliance, and possibly an alliance with Penner? Maybe. Alright, so the Jeff gang, a.k.a. Denise and Carter, they just want to get Penner out because he's a returning player, and they don't like that. They don't think it's fair. So they kind of hook up with Pete's gang, and they come up with a plan that they're going to split the vote to get rid of either Penner or RC. All right, so it's immunity time, and it's not tribal immunity anymore, because there's only one tribe, kids. And now it's individual immunity, and one man, one woman win it this week, and it's always an endurance after the merge. So this, this time, they have to hold on to a bucket, which is like on a pulley, and it's got 25% of your body weight. So it's kind of more fair, because if you're a big guy or a little girl, it's not going to be fair if you've got the same amount of weight. So Denise uh, wins it for the ladies. She is one tough broad, let me tell you. She's beaten out these kids who are in their 20s, and uh, she's in some good shape. It was a relatively short challenge. Um, after 15 minutes, it came down pretty much to the final two. And Jeff and Carter end up making a deal after 25 minutes. Um, Carter really wanted to win it, so Jeff decided to throw it to him. And he said, you know, if I, if I throw it to you, you owe me one. So he's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> so Jeff and Denise win immunity, which is perfect for the plan to get rid of either Penner or RC because obviously neither one of them could have won for it to work. So the new tribe name is Dangrain. Where they came up with that, I'm not quite sure. But Jeff talks to Scoopin and he's like, hey, let's get rid of Penner. And you know what? Scoopin's a whore. He'll go with anyone who'll get him further in the game. <laughs> I don't think he's got any loyalty to anybody except for RC at this point. So, Jeff and Carter are sitting there strategizing. Deja vu! Didn't this happen last week? And Penner walks in, and they're just like... <laughs> yeah, Penner wants to get peed out. 
but I don't think that's going to happen because Pete's in an alliance with Jeff and Carter. It's time for tribal, thank God. So Denise has been to every tribal so far and yet survived. And Tandang has not been to any tribals and they have set the record for a tribe never having been to tribal before the merge. So Denise, uh, Abby, all out of the blue, is like, I used to be in an alliance with RC and now we're not friends. <laughs> what is wrong with her? All probes D has to do is look at her and she's like spilling her guts out. So yeah, the returning players, do they deserve to stay? Says Probsty. And the general consensus is no. Nobody wants them around except them, I guess. So Lisa points out that there is a zillion different possible alliance scenarios going on here, and she is right. I am so confused at this point, my head is spinning. So Pete, he admits that he, he feels like he might be a target tonight. And when Probsty asks Baseball Jeff if there's a blind side coming, Jeff says yes. All right, so let's bring on the vote then. Well, apparently Penner is sensing his impending doom and plays the idol. And it's a damn good thing he did because it could have been him getting his torch snuffed out. But instead, it was RC by a vote of four to two and Pete getting the two. Oh no! I would have liked to have seen that come down to a tie, but it didn't. Next time, uh, Penner is like, yo, why did you betray me? <laughs> now it's all out war, kids. I'm after everyone. I'm a free agent. So you know how that goes. It's probably not going to go too well. Till next time, much love.